What's going on guys? It's your boy Edal here back with another YouTube video. Today we got another good one for you guys. We are facing off against Measly and the Sutopolis Septiles in a very, very scary week two matchup. I am not gonna lie, boys. His team is honestly probably the scariest out of anybody's team uh this season this season in this league at the current moment. But uh nonetheless, I think we got a good pace and a good team for you guys, so let's get right on to it. So, as you can see, we decided to change things up a little, little bit with our Ogre Pod. Uh, basically, same set as last week. Spiky Shield, Sword Stance, Knock Off, or Ivy Cudgel. But this week, we'll be running Knock Off as well. Um, like I said earlier, same nature, Jolly Nature, Max Attack, Max Speed. This thing's just meant to hit like a truck. And possibly we could catch him off guard with a Spiky Shield at one point in the game. Uh, hope mostly on things like um, Landorus T, Quackleval, uh, maybe even Rillaboom as well, if we even get a chance. But uh, mo mostly the things like Heatran, Rillaboom, Sneasler, and uh, Quackleval, they're, they're very scary threats for my team, I am not going to lie. <sighs> but nonetheless, I think we're going to do what we can with Ogre Pond. Up next, we do have a little bit of an interesting set with Incineroar this week. Instead of running a Choice Scarf like we did last week, we we're going to be running a Clear Amulet. Uh, this basically prevents any stat drops um, on Incineroar. So, like most, the big thing, the biggest thing for me last week uh, versus Noah was uh, Intimidate Overquill, uh, which would lower my physical attack stage by one. With a Clear Amulet, that won't happen now. So he, since Peyton has Landorus T, which has Intimidate. Uh, that won't happen. So we'll be running Clear Amulet, very good healthy chunk in HP, max attack, and then a little bit of defense, a little bit of speed, adamant nature. We'll be running Darkest Lariat, Trailblaze for hopefully some speed, for some speed procs, hopefully we can outspeed some things. Parting Shot to play a little bit of more of a pivot, I guess, and then Earthquake to try and uh, get rid of some of his more sketchier threats like Heatran and Sneasler. Up next, we do have Sceptile bringing him new this week. We will be running a Grassy Seed as Peyton's more than likely going to be running Grassy Surge Rillaboom. So when you combine Grassy Seed with Unburden, it'll double my speed. However, two of Peyton's Mons are base 120 speed. Sceptile's base speed is also 120. Here's my reason. I'll get to it a little bit later. But when you combine Grassy Seed and Unburden, the Grassy Seed will proc as soon as Grassy Surge, uh, is, as soon as it gets sent out with Grassy Grassy Terrain on the field, which will proc Unburden. It'll double my speed. This will actually be our Terra Captain for the week. We'll be running Terra Water, hopefully to uh, get rid of his trickier th threats. Uh, mostly Heatran and Landorus T. If we the main thing is we have to get rid of Real Boom ASAP, but we have to keep the terrain up in order for Sceptile to work. That is the biggest thing with this set, is we need to outspeed everything with Sceptile, because Sceptile can and will do a good, good amount of damage. Max Attack, Max Speed, Swords Dance, Acrobatics, uh, leaf, braid, leaf Blade, and Terra Blast... With a jolly nature, this thing is meant to out try and outspeed everything. And I'll get to how we can out we for sure can outspeed everything later on. But up next, we do have the string cheese man. I did get this mon gend. It's just named string cheese. The last E in cheese and man got cut, unfortunately, but that's okay. We'll be running a choice scarf on this thing. Uh, good as gold is the only ability we can get. Uh, max special attack, excuse me, max speed, modest nature. This thing can and will outspeed everything. The main problem is uh, mostly Heatran and Landorus T. But two of Peyton's Mons are immune to the move Thunder Wave, which means we cannot paralyze them. That being Landorus T and Electros. But uh, we, we have to try and cripple as many things as possible. So if we get... A good chance we can uh, paralyze Sneasler, 
and possibly even Driftblim, because that also runs on Burden and Inteleon as well. Uh, trick, in case we get a favorable matchup, if he decides to bring, like, Hatterene. Uh, and then Shadow Ball and make it rain for good stab. Up next, we do have Primarina. Throat Spray will be the item uh, for this. For this mon, Liquid Voice uh, changes normal type. Or actually, no, changes sound based moves like Hyper Voice to be water type. Uh, max, max HP, I want to say about three quarter of the rest in speed and the rest in special attack. Psychic, Moonblast, Hyper Voice, and Ice Beam. This thing is just meant to try and kill anything in its path. Um, not necessarily meaning to outspeed anything, but I feel like if we get a lucky with the switch in, like maybe into Landorus T, we can get it knocked out right away, and hopefully we can get it out. And up, finally, we do have Ortornatus T running Leftovers, Regenerator, Max HP and max speed. Uh, this thing is mo most the uh, this thing is meant to be a utility set, kind of in my opinion. Uh, timid nature to help try and outspeed things, I believe. Uh, Tailwind. This is how we outspeed Inteleon and Sneasler. If they're not choice scarfed, or actually you can't because they'd be unburned, so that wouldn't count. Anyways. This is how we outspeed Sneasler and Inteleon. We get Tailwind up, as long as Grassy Terrain is still up, possibly even Sack Tornadus. Or right as it's about to go down, we Sack Tornadus right after we get Tailwind up. That way Sceptile gets a safe switch in, as long as Grassy Terrain is still up. We should be able to try and outspeed everything on Peyton's team with Sceptile. Psychic for good damaging moves, air slash, good stab. Um, it, it, this mod is meant to hit anything on Peyton's team. It's it's his, it's the best that we can possibly do uh, for this set, I believe. Because one thing I was talking with Noah um, yesterday and today, our team is really really weak to Sneasler. If Peyton is able to get the ball rolling right away, I'm not even sure if we'll be able, even able to catch up. I feel like as long as we can keep it eat relatively even right away, I feel like we'll actually have a good chance at trying to keep up at what he's throwing down. And hopefully we'll end up at top. But, like I said, that's the team for this week. Kind of interesting. Um, <coughs> excuse me. A little bit different set this week. Kind of interesting. Um... I'm really expecting Sceptile to pick up some slack that's really, really um, lacking in my team. Last week, we really, really got lucky with five or six crits and then a poison proc. That's I've never seen that many crits in my entire life in a single game of Pokemon. That's like obviously like not like Serene Grace, like Air Slash hacks or anything like that, but... Uh, <laughs> Like you normally would see on Showdown or something, but I don't know. Um, but no, like I said, very interesting team. Peyton's got a scary, scary team. Uh, that base core of Rillaboom, Sneasler, uh, Inteleon, Quackleval, and Landorus T. But nonetheless, let's get right into the battle. Let's we'll see you on the other side. No Rillaboom. There goes my entire strat of what I wanted to do. I really don't know what I want to do, to be honest. I feel like the best thing just to try and lead. This is hard. Because if he leads Heatran, we can't do anything. If he leads Hatterene, we can't do anything. So, let's... Let's just go Ogre Pond, see what it does. Actually, let's lead Incineroar first, we can get Intimidate off. We are recording, good, okay. This is it, boys. Week two. Week two battle versus Measly and the Sutopolis Sceptiles. This is going to be very, very interesting. Uh, 
um, turn up the... Okay, so he does need Heatran. Zero just does knock it out, but we are still slower. I feel like he might go into Sneasler here. It didn't say anything about an air balloon, did it? I don't think it did. Power gem. Okay, that might kill, honestly. Yeah. Focus Sash, maybe? No! Interesting! So Incineroar will rack up a kill. Heatran goes down. Okay, off to an okay start. This not ideal, but okay. <laughs> I'm just curious if we can able to get Sneasler in on a minus one. Sneasler. You're unburdened at minus one. Close combat actually does not kill. Well, it does kill Incineroar now, but it likely won't kill Sceptile, and it, I don't think it can touch Tornadus. He is going to send out Inteleon, though, which is not great. Uh, let's save. How much does Primarina do? If your specs... Okay, so Psychic will do the most damage. But... Hmm. Which... How many, uh, I feel like... This is the better play right now. Because if we end up at plus one, Moonblast will kill after we Hyper Voice. Oh, he sub. Okay. Should have just gone for Trailblaze, but all right. Air Slash, all right. Please break. Okay, we're good there. Let's make a play. How much will Hyper Voice do against Sneasler? You're on Burden. Not enough. But if he switches into Sneasler, we're golden. Shakira, I think that's Sneasler. Hattering, gotcha. Good play. So he's Ooh, Hattering, Hattering, Hattering. You are Moonblast will still do more. But I do want to get that plus one off. Holy fuck, you are especially bulky. It could be... Interesting. So... Okay, that did good damage. Giga Drain. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts. Shouldn't have moved that quick. Damn it. I 
gonna stop doing that. He's gonna switch into Sneasler. I just, I just feel it. Computer's gonna take a crap there. I'm, I'm nervous, dude. I really am. He's gonna switch into Sneasler. I can already tell. It's taking a long time to move though. That's okay. He might just let Hattering go down. Yeah. All right, we're gaining confidence as we go. We will die to Future Sight though, so that's. I'm actually not. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. So Hattering will go one and one. Uh, Primarina. So I feel he might go Sneasler now. We are faster than everything, so plus Intellions. And he trans out of the way now too, so. Steel. Who's that? Lando. Okay, so. The only thing that would suck is if you are. So if you're fast utility, make it rain. You basically have to hope for a crit here. Earthquake will just kill us. Probably should have just went for Shadow Ball too, to be honest. Now knows I'm Scarfed. Ooh, that did good damage. Very good damage. EQ, yeah, that will just knock us down. Yeah. So, Lando gets a kill here. We are faster than Lander is, correct? Yeah. So... Who does he have left? He has... Lando, Inteleon, Sneasler, and Heatran. So... We are still faster. Regardless, Psychic is still the best play here. If he go it wants to go into Sneasler, that's fine. Electros, that's fine too. Relatively even right now too, which is good. I can just feel my heart pounding right now. Are we switching? Electros? Okay, so I did get that play right. Um, yeah, that's Assault Vest. That is 100% Assault Vest. How much would Leaf Blade do? Forty one. Hmm, that's not great. We are still faster, though. So, he could just Terra Ice or Terra Steel. The downside is, is that he's Levitate. I feel like right now, we Tailwind. He is going to Terra. He 
And it is Terror Electric. Super Cell Slam is gonna connect, so Electros will likely get a kill here. Yeah. Ah, we're doing so good. So now... Could also ease 100%. Could kill, I don't see it. But I, I I don't know. I really don't know. We were doing so good. He's probably thinking I'm just gonna Ivy Cudgel right away. We're doing so good, now he's starting to read me. Really, really hard. Yeah, he's gonna go right into Inteleon. Blue Steel, who's that? Lando, okay. So, Ogre Pawn will get a kill here. Lando goes down. Still relatively even. Minus one. Maybe Cudgel's not even doing half. If your specs... What move did Inteleon use? Was it... It was air slash and sub, so... Slytherin, yeah, that's Inteleon. No, let's... Feeling frisky. Let's SD. Let's get back up to plus one. He probably has like a flying move or something. He's acrobatics. Ooh, he lived. And it was a crit. No, it was a crit, yeah. So now we just hit Ivy Cudgel. that do against Inteleon? It'll still do like 82 max, which will still kill. So Ogre Pond will get another kill here. So far, we're not doing too bad. The only downside that I don't like is that, yes, Tailwind's out now, so... Sneasler can come in if it wants to right now. That's the main drawback. But also, he has his two fastest mons left. That's also another big problem. So he's sending out Inteleon again. Ooh. 
Who do I have left? I have... I need to save Incineroar. I have to. I don't... That's the thing. I don't know if... Let's just spike his shield. I think... I don't think he's gonna sub. I think he's gonna attack right away. Chelsea, not now. Snipe shot, yep. I, I say we just have to let Ogre Pond go down. Yeah. Teleon gets a kill. I feel like now we have to Terra. We have to. pounding again. I am ah, uh, I'm I'm shaking again. Basically the only thing only hope we have right now is we outspeed and that's it, but otherwise we lose. We outspeed cuz we're speed tied if they're both max speed jolly. Because Sceptile and Teleon and uh, Sneasler, they all share base 120 speed, so Sceptile should get a kill here. And then I think we switch into Incineroar, sack it. Yeah, Sceptile gets a kill. Teleon goes down. Now we switch into Incin. basically just hope for oh but if he's on burden that's gonna be a problem so septile versus knees you are mostly ubers we are Terrad. And you're gonna be at minus one. Close combat. As long as we break the speed tie, I think we'll win. We have a 97.7% chance to two hit KO. As long as it doesn't crit and we break the speed tie. Unless this is clear amulet too. And you, you're unburdened. You are unburdened. Wider. No. So you're at close combat. What is that? Minus one. We have a good chance now. So I say Terra Blast. It does the most damage. We outspeed. Come on, get a crit. Come on. Half. Okay. Dire Claw. As long as we break this. GG's. Ah! Damn it! I thought we had that! <laughs> Dang it! Oh, 
Oh my goodness, that was such a good game. So Sneezer got two. Septile goes down. Incense goes down. Dang it! That was... What is the chance on Dire Claw paralyzing? What is the... I'm just here to look. Sneezler. Dire Claw. 50% chance to sleep, poison, or paralyze the target. So that's... He, he had... Ah... Uh... He had a 50% chance to either sleep, para... Or poison. So it's basically a. What is 33% of 50? That's about 18? So he had about an 18% chance. No, no, 17. He had about a 17% chance to paralyze me, and he got it. Yeah, I'm salty now. <laughs> Dude. So. Dang it. <laughs> so we would outspeed. He was adamant. We were outspeeding anyway, so... Um... Ah, dang it! Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I, should, I shouldn't be upset, but I am. That a 16% chance to para... 16.33% chance to para, and he gets the one that he needs. Oh, dang it. But, wow, that is an insane game, dude. Adamant, we would outspeed regardless. But, dang it. <laughs> but, nonetheless, Peyton played an amazing game. That was a fabulous game by both of us, actually. I was shaking the whole time, but, nonetheless, yeah, GG's going out to him once again. Uh, that was super fun. We'll prepare for our, our next opponent. That will be Chunk Norris. He's the one with the Starly. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, as always. Peace. Hey, guys. What's up again? It's me again. Uh, so we kind of did get a little bit lucky uh, versus in, with the Sceptile and Inteleon interaction. So we actually were speed tied. Uh, he was... A uh, timid Inteleon, and I was, I believe, Jolly. Yeah, I was Jolly. Uh, but no, for sure, we definitely got lucky on that interaction, but uh, that luck made up for itself against the uh, Sneasler. Um, so, <laughs> really unfortunate that it ended that way in a para, but uh, nonetheless, it was, it was a very good match against Peyton. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna t take our um, try and turn our, turn things around against Chuck Chunk Norris uh, next week. So until then, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys later.